Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my new obsession, which is the succession. There's no the, it's just succession. But we're talking about the succession today. Last time on a succession, while Logan was fighting for his life, everybody around him was talking business, business, business. Because it's all about business. And now today we have episode 3 of season 1. And if you have been enjoying these reactions, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And check out some of my other videos. But yes, today, succession episode 3. Last time on episode 2, while Logan was out, they part-time gave Kendall and Roman to be in charge of the company. Through that, Kendall found out that the company is actually in a $3 billion debt. Uh, Greg is still trying to grind for his job. And Logan, at the end of the episode, has awoken. Yeah, the beast is awake. Okay. It's a big day for him. He's like, first day in charge. Up in the crack of dawn. The sun is even out here. <laughs> His desk today. Can you get me the price of the way? I love the soundtrack in the show. I will keep saying that for four seasons, I guess. Uh, just, just two minutes. What's your read? Do I go, do I go Hulk or Bruce Banner? Well, you know? talk to your people about, hey, oh, I know you're, you're just, uh, you're, you're always. She's busy. She's it's it's but this is all over the place all right let me go ahead and add this soundtrack to my phone because i have done it go for it i take my shit serious that's why i have the reputation that i do and i need you to take it serious too okay dude i'm, I'm on board so you know you can skip the whole speech bullshit okay i'm down all right 5 30 every day yeah man i'm 5 30 in the morning good yeah, well, good, because the other 5.30 I'll be at work, you know? Being an agent of change and, you know, fucking firing people. Ah. He's excited about his new... Everybody's excited about their new positions, you know? I'm just waiting until Logan steps in and he's like, Nope, none of you, none of you are doing this. So sweet. But you know, he's not seeing people right now. Yeah, but I thought I could just pop up. He's his hey, daughter. Daughter. His own daughter. You don't. Marsha, I've seen my dad do the master cleanse. I can take him a little bit grouchy. I'm afraid that is out of the question. You're not my mom. How does he seem today? Good? Oh, you know. Oh, actually, we don't. <laughs> we, uh, we. That's not much of an answer. Chart looks bad. Now, uh, obviously, look, the main thing is we just handle this. Very calmly, owe you 3.2 billion. 3.25. Hey, I was rounding down. Okay. We round up. Three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not good. He's so, nervous. So, what will we do here in reality? We're not crazy about how your father has treated our relationship, and our position is to seek recruitment. Oh, come on, man. Fuck off. Uh oh. Oh, this is so awkward. Somebody say something. <laughs> say something. Somebody. Anybody. Anybody say something. Maybe it's better if we go through an intermediary. I'm not a particular fan of foul language, and I don't like to be insulted. Well, okay. Not great first move as the boss. We could nosedive. We could, we could death spiral here. Dude, I was only trying to be nice. That was a fucking shit show, and you handled it like a moron. This is the truth. <laughs> Anybody got any suggestions of how we can fix this? Oh, this guy on the scene. Hello? Did uh, you get your Greg job? Hirsch? Weird, I don't think I ever got his last... Uh, <laughs> Tom, boss Tom. Tom? Hey, hey, hey. Can you help me? No! <laughs> Greg Roy? That's, yeah, I'm actually a Hirsch. I'm not a... My mom's a Roy, but uh, I'm basically a Roy in all, all but my name. <laughs> oh, he's so different from the Roy's, that's a funny thing. I'm not gonna lie to you, Shiv. Shiv rocking that suit this this episode. I like it. No one apart from Marsha has seen him for the better part of a week. Four days is not a week. Hmm. What's Marsha cooking? I think it's just I think it's just Logan being Logan. Is everything okay? No. no we are on, no. on the brink of total corporate collapse. Oh yeah. Well, Very bad. Figures. All right. All right. Morning. 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 
Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be a train wreck. I can already tell. Cridge fest ensuing. I'm actually gonna stand up if that's all right. My back is fucked. I have a new trainer. So, so uh, <laughs> okay. And is now sitting up with the grown-ups. Hey. So I just want- what I want to announce to you all this morning is a new. <laughs> <laughs> they do awkwardness very well. And what we're fighting for is eyeballs. Eyeballs, which we convert to our customer base. Eyeballs, which we create up and sell to advertisers. Right? And uh, bottom line... So he's writing eyeballs. He, he, he did not just write eyeballs. Volter is a lifeboat. ATN Citizens is a lifeboat. There are no bad lifeboats. Yeah, no bad ideas. Yeah, Porn could be a lifeboat. Except that. That's a bad lifeboat. Maybe? Maybe? Large internet traffic. Bring me more in the interactive and digital space. Bring me franchisable IP. Bring me a thousand lifeboats. Bring me a fucking armada of eyeballs. I guess that was a somewhat of a good speech, maybe. Need a friendly ear, Lord Vader. <laughs> Just uh, get shit moving at parks. Yes. Yeah, Tom. Yeah. It's uh, stagnant. Yeah. So shake that fucking tree, C-3PO. That's rough. He called himself Darth Vader and he demoted him to C-3PO. Headline, okay. uh, CEO tells staff Waystar headed for Iceberg. Not Iceberg, Lifeboat. I said... <laughs> <laughs> they flipped his speech. <laughs> I mean, he wanted that position, right? He just didn't realize how much work he had to do. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> Those emails keep coming in. That's a terrible cut. With a read from uh, some. Why does this guy look familiar? Dude, we're not in Buckley we're anymore. Sure. Jesus. That's fine. So these. <laughs> that's that's not fine. Uh, no, that, okay, that's a terrible cut. What is? We came in, took the whole thing off your family's hands. Obviously, no. Fuck off, how dare you, I'm so insulted, etc. Did Greg ever get in the building? Oh, there he is. <laughs> for reorientation. I don't know why I saw that and I thought of him immediately. Why the fuck are you wearing a pair of deck shoes now? Oh, yeah, no. Well, my credit card got maxed out. <laughs> Dude, you carry dog shit? That, I thought, I thought it looked like a dog poop bag. It's not like they pre-pooped them or something. Like, it's not like they're just bags, really. <laughs> It's just a mental argument. barrier. But can we uh, figure out where we might put the talented Mr. Greg? Okay, all right. Okay, uh, he's hooking him up with something, I think. I'm, I'm not exactly sure still. This toxic relationship that they have uh, is... I feel like it's going to grow on me. I thought about it more and I'm just like, I feel like it's going to be an interesting dynamic. Is she... So is this... Is she cheating? What? Okay. And I thought we were going to be friends. Sure. Oh, we're gonna, oh, I want to be friends. We're gonna be friends. All right. Okay. I'd love to be friends with uh, with Shiv, to be honest. I need background on someone off the record. On her uh, new Marcia. mom. Marsha. All goes through you. Yes, my lady. <laughs> okay. We're done here. All right. Nothing else. Hmm. Thank you for your attention. Welcome to your new future at Waste. Thank you for your attention. There was none. What do you mean? He's here. In the building. He can't do that. Fucking Pepsi doesn't just drop in to see Coke. Your father would shoot him on sight. You know, I don't need to hear what my father would do right now, okay? He's not here. All right. Put him in his place. I can give you any advice. I'm just watching the wheels nowadays, so if you want to run anything, buy me. As an honest broker, use me. A mentor. Why? Aren't you a rival? Swaps, acquisitions, cooperative interactions. You know, smart stuff. Only a young man like you can conceive of. He's trying to get him. Hey, Jess, will you take Mr. Furness down? Look at you. Right in the eye of the raging storm and, and cool as a cucumber. <laughs> that was a threat. That was a threat. All of that was a threat. Stock's gone below 130. Well, it's RIP here, I guess, right? I feel like he might need to cave and uh, collaborate with that guy. 
but we shall see. That. See that? That's how much people don't like me. Hey, that's me too. Don't leave me <laughs> out. No, it's mainly Kendo, but yeah, okay, no, it's, some of it is Roman too, yes. Can I suggest we all take our shirts off? Okay, Kendo. <laughs> no, they can write a fucking algorithm to run this place, but that's not the answer. That's not us. Like, just disrupt. Okay. New ideas. This is going to spark new ideas. Well, if you want stuff that works for the price, layoffs. Yum, yum. Oh, firing. See? Shirts off shit. Roman did want to fire some people. Just have to ask or, you know, tell dad. Here we go. Gotta talk to the lion. Kingdom. Marsha, what if I push you down the stairs? Good. Good. And just go see my dad. I had an idea. Okay. How about instead of taking us over, you give me four billion dollars? Okay, for what? <laughs> you invest for once in a blue chip corporation, one that is currently, you know, undervalued because of <laughs> this guy's here. Why? <laughs> Let's go to the bathroom, have a little something, something, and just knock out a few ideas. Just no, bash them out. Not for me. Jeez, no, no, no. Ooh. Kendall, don't tell yeah. me you're in there, buddy. Okay. Why are you in there, I'm dude? Good. If you're gonna let him, just let him go by himself. I'm also gonna need a board seat. Oh, I force it on you, dude, mm -hmm. for the optics. Shit hot new CEO has some hot shit new money for investment. Sister's doing it for themselves. All right, okay. Greg. Deal was made. Come on, buddy. First meeting of the senior manager. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, right? Some the business stuff can fly past me. Not really big into business personally, but I'm focused and trying to pay attention here. Understand some of it. I get some of it, not all of it, some of it. Here's a question. But tell me this: if you could really do anything professionally and work anywhere, where would that be? Excuse me. You asked the question, and it what? You asked one question and walked out. <laughs> Oh, what did they find Can out? Did they find out something about her? That on anybody? Okay, so first husband, a uh, Lebanese businessman. I don't like how he asked that. Is he hiding something or is he trying to find somebody else? Possibilities. Either she came from kind of nowhere, Tripoli, Lebanon, or, or... cleanup job. Mm, she erased her past. Are you trying to force entry? Is that it? Oh boy, yes. I thought we were just stopping by. I usually try to avoid confrontation. It's very difficult as it is. Oh, the fucking waterworks? Is that it? You're gonna cry now? Please. <laughs> Just push her out of the way. Oh, and we're engaged. Um, oh, okay. So he wanted to happen. ask cool. you. Uh, she did say yes. Yeah. I love you. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 Oh, that's traumatic. He doesn't like you all to see him when he's not himself. Uh huh. Yeah, he wants yeah, me to. Yeah, she learned the hard way. Literally the hard way. I'm a private person. Not all of us are born into good ease. Okay. So if you want to know anything about me, just ask me and I will tell you. Whoa, it's like she knows she's being investigated. <laughs> it's like she knows. Oh, that guy is looking into her, maybe. We're going to repay. As in? We're good. Everything's golden. We don't need you. This can all stay private, and I'll be looking elsewhere for a banking partner as we go supersonic. Goodbye. Mr. And Roy. fuck you. <laughs> he doesn't like profanity, so... Alright, looks like we're good. My question is, when they say trying to all rekindle of the rabbit, that fire. do they mean oh, like... Kindle. Oh, oh, Kindle. Rekindle that fire. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm the man, mm -hmm. but if there were a man, mm -hmm. hypothetically, he might look a lot like me. He literally just said, I'm him. I'm him. I love you. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> Noted. I love her reply. Who loves you? Mm -hmm. He's feeling himself. He's feeling himself. He's like, I might just start shooting everywhere. And it worked. I throw three or four dozen white shoe lawyers at you and see what it would be like to actually what? physically destroy someone. Where did this come from? It's gotta be fucking him. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck you, dude. Look at your face. Hey. I guess this is a good first step, potentially, to getting back together. Don't try to push it too much. You all right? Kendall, your father would like to see you. 
Oh, it's bad when the father calls you in. Oh. <laughs> it was set up like a showdown. It's good to see you, Dad. Just wait until he speaks. Holy shit. Oh, my God. We're in good shape, Dad. You just keep getting better. I got this. You are... No, no, it's gonna be brutal. Uh, no. Fucking idiot. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, dude, I feel so bad. Absolutely crushed him. Oh, that's how that plays in. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that's how that plays in. He's having a meeting with the competitor. Oh, no, did they play him? Are they working together? I think they wanted Kendall to do that, to make that plan. Because a rival came in, and the guy who was meeting at the co coffee shop, they're working together, they wanted him to formulate that plan. So he goes with the guy at the coffee shop, gives him some leeway in the company. See, this is where, like, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you once again, you know, this is where, like, some of the business talk sometimes, it will take me a little bit to process. So, yeah, so they play, I guess they played him, and Logan knew he was going to get played by them. And Kendall just went right along with it. So... Yikes. Yeah. So I guess right now they're out of the three billion dollar debt, but it's also like at what cost, you know? We are looking into Marsha. What is Marsha up to? She's up to something. She's looking for something and she knows she's being watched. It looks like that security guard that's always with them, especially also watching Shiv. So Marsha knows that she's being looked at and it's kind of a whole thing going on here with Shiv and Marsha at play right now. Ah, oh, damn. I like the pairings that they've built. You know, they, they kind of gave each other uh, pairings to play with here so far like we got greg and tom doing a thing we got logan and kendall as a kind of like the main big thing here uh we have shiv and marsha right now roman i'm not really sure roman is kind of floating right now it's still interesting what he's up to but he's kind of floating right now i don't really think he has a pair right now but they seem to have paired everybody up in this family to have conflict with uh, to have their own like very personal conflict, which is interesting to see. And yeah, that was Succession, Episode 3. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Check out some of my other videos. And I'll see you guys next time in Episode 4. Peace.